Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of Here's a Scenario. I am one of your hosts, Mike Cannon, with me as always. Mike Feeney, and also... Brendan Sagalo. This is fun. And we have a great guest. A great guest here to clear his name, among other things, as well as to play our game, to interact with our with our listeners and all that stuff. But Fresh out of the penitentiary. Fresh out yeah. of court. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Joe DeRosa, everybody. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> How you doing, man? You look, you look thin as the okay. stress of the court... Yeah. <laughs> The stressful time. Yeah. yeah, the stress of all the tax evasion really been weighing on you. Legal fees. <laughs> yeah. Wife left me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's claiming she didn't know anything. Typical. Yeah. It's hard. Classic. But where'd the bracelet come, sweet come from, sweetheart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where'd the coat come from? <laughs> no, I, I saw that clip of Ari and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and uh and Aaron Berg came on uh my podcast taste buds the other day and in the middle of it he was like can i ask you a question and i was like yeah and he's like very seriously he's like, sincerely he was like are you okay <laughs> like, what are you talking about i'm fine and he was like i don't want to say it on air and i was like what are you talking about and he like leaned over and covered the mic and he's like but the tag stuff <laughs> That's and awesome. He wasn't kidding. He really thought it was real. <laughs> That's great. Which some fucking friend. Yeah. Yeah. Which, right. He's on my podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ask if you know. Anyway, I don't yeah. know if now is the time. He's trying to make a in, moment. But, That's yeah. hilarious. I can't say it on the show. We're live. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mike threw his finger. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he. Uh, and I was like, it was a joke. I go, Ari was kidding. And then I told the story of texting you, like seeing the clip. Immediately texting you, yeah, and writing, "What the fuck is wrong with Ari?" Yeah, and you wrote it, and you just wrote back, "Apropos of nothing." <laughs> really? I mean, and I, like, I like, it. you're like, I don't know what the buildup was. Like, there was no buildup. No. He just literally brought, like, he's. It starts with him. Whatever we were talking about, it was a non sequitur. And going, yeah, that's like DeRosa with the tax stuff. Like he, like, yeah. he plants the seed so well. You're we like, what was that? Yeah, that just, yeah you know? and I bet it's a. I, I don't know with Ari. It's hard to tell sometimes whether it's a pre-planned anecdote or if it's something that he just like thought of within the chaos of the moment it feels I like he goes that. in yeah. with something for every podcast he's ever done um i it's that's a great thing you bring up i don't know like with <laughs> our like it's 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 he is it's funny uh soder so i was on the bonfire a week ago and soder was calling me the joker he was going you're the joker dude you just stay by and stand by and create the chaos and you and i'm like ah, no nah, no man thank you but no <laughs> ari is truly the joker yeah like he's like you're like did he plan for that building yeah. to blow up yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like because he's laughing really hard <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it looked like an accident <laughs> <laughs> well and ari also it's like it's omnidirectional because yeah. everything is it's it's true chaos because some of it is for the benefit of everyone and then some of it is for the detriment of everyone but it's also yeah. when i and this is why i i love it though is because i understand the concept of doing a bit just for you and then the reaper the ripple effect is what only causes further joy so like yeah. him saying that on our podcast at the time getting us to believe it was like enough for him but also yeah. in the back of his head knowing it's gonna get back to joe it's, it's gonna, gonna cause gonna, digital problems yeah yeah but yeah. what is crazy is there is a real side effect like it's not like an innocent thing to like say because i mean at at worst, I guess you could get audited. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's not someone who listens to our podcast works at the IRS. Dude. Like, well, let me check on that. Actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, dude, I'm only putting these on because I can tell it's making Mike so uncomfortable. <laughs> Feeny, <laughs> right? Not yeah. Me. yeah, I don't yeah. care. All right. Yeah, just, <laughs> Do you, can you just keep seeing his eyes looking at him? Yeah. He's looking from your mouth to your ear, just back and forth. <laughs> yeah, like. I love how he's explaining to me. 
Mike, I did Opie and Anthony for 10 years. With headphones on? Li- yes. Ah. Live and I understand. So you understand. Yeah. So you yeah. get it. I understand so the difference in importance yeah, yeah, yeah. of a live. So this was just a defiance. Top five of all time radio show. <laughs> yeah. And the po- this podcast. Well, excuse me. Please keep Top us- four of this network. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, boy. The, uh, can't. Anyway. No. Um, well, until I never, June. I, it, I, I run very hot, so I don't like wearing them because it makes me more hot. Gotcha. And I'm already feeling lightheaded because I'm hot in this room. But anyway. You um, got a fan that's broken if you want. Oh, actually, we, is that another fan that we have? That's another broken fan they brought in. Oh, <laughs> there yeah. is. Um, yeah, so he, so anyway, so he put, luckily, everybody, like all the fans knew, knew it was a joke. Yeah. Because yeah. they're familiar enough with Ari now. In fact, what, with what you were saying, he, he does it just to himself, too. Like, right. I think you were saying that. Like he'll do it to his method of like who he targets or whatever, or you might, I I can't remember who said it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We're interchangeable. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's uh, he does it to himself too. Like he'll, he'll, he'll just tweet something that will get him in massive amounts of shit. Yeah. And you're just like, it's, it's, he's an interesting guy, but anyway, everybody knew that it was clearly a joke and they were like sending me the clip and being like, Clearly, like jokingly, yeah. being like, if you need help, like, well, yeah. Well, now that you said that it was clearly a joke twice, it's starting to make me think it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely so not like, anything guys, anyone should look at. And now that we all know it was clearly not real, <laughs> I I was worried about that. I was worried that if I talked about it, it would look like I was trying to. Make That's it. the genius of Ari. That it's yeah. crazy. denying it no makes it what, seem even more. No matter what, you're guilty as charged. But yeah, he, he is a but, real hard on for like planting something and then letting it come back later and being like oh yeah like remember that herpy blister <laughs> he um but but here's the crazy part i texted him and uh i was like that was really funny and i said uh i i responded with a comment that you murdered somebody or something whatever <laughs> and he goes yeah i saw that that was funny and he goes you should delete that comment and lean into my joke though and say that you really are in trouble and i was like are you fucking crazy <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to convince you to further indict yourself. I mean, that's the greatest trick. Also, tell everyone you have cancer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so... It, he's, an, he, he's a provocateur. He became... Yeah. Um, in We had two... I was thinking about it today, actually, um, because I knew we'd talk about this, but... And I actually thank... Ari's the only comedian, I think, in my... in the I'm doing a, a residency uh, at the Crane Theater. And in the little... You know, we made this little very simple playbill thing, and the only comedian I thank in it is Ari, uh, for very sincere reasons. Um, but uh, because he's kind of the one that pushed me back to stand up when I was starting to kind of drift away a little bit. Um, but I had two uh, very uh, significant summers with him. One was in Edinburgh, and then one was the lockdown summer, and uh, we bonded and hung out a lot, like a whole lot, and became close in the first round and then closer in the second summer um so he's he's i i i love the guy he's one of my best friends i i don't know what makes him tick because <laughs> 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 he does he has he also has these moments of utter sincerity yeah yeah and like su- full support like he's fully behind you if he's your friend he fully supports you he will he will like he is a guy that would like help you move or mm-hmm. something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I think it's tonally, like, isn't it? Because everything he says, whether he's saying something sincere, whether he's fucking with you, or whether he's completely ambivalent, it all sounds that exact yeah. monotone. Like, yeah, whatever. You know, I'm your best friend. I'll yeah. do anything for you. Ari is a shelter quit. dog, but where like he wants to be very kind and he wags his tail, but then out of nowhere he like remembers his past of being an Orthodox <laughs> Jew and just lashes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what he does. And then he goes back to being like, oh no, I forgot. I love you. Yeah. I think I think he's I it's funny I think he's the opposite of what you just said okay. I, think, I think the past is the <coughs> decent part of him yeah. that sometimes overtakes this new lunatic he's the bored house cat that's you know? so true yeah like that's so funny yeah. but I think the decency has traumatized him so I think his nature is yeah. to re- rebel against that, and that's what makes him yeah. all fucking revved up and tr- and feel. That's why he does discomfort. that like shit where he just says something that's a lie because every once in a while he'll be sitting there and he's like, "What are you doing? You got to be a bad guy." <laughs> yeah, my, my whole early badass. childhood was a lie. Yeah, <laughs> just make yeah. up a lie right now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, so speaking of uh, villains, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was uh, I was talking to Voss on the phone, who is another one of my best friends. I love Voss so much. I was talking to him on the phone, and he goes, he goes, "What are you doing today?" And I go, oh, "I got to leave in a minute. I got to go do Mike Feeney's podcast." And he goes. Wow, how did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I go by not having done better in this business. <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, he goes, if you do well, maybe Mike Cannon will have you on his podcast. <laughs> and I go, it's the same podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boss is such dude, a son fuck of a Voss. Yeah. Yeah. By the fuck way, Voss. I re we realized on YKWD, he, Voss is the seagull from Little Mermaid. He oh, sounds great. exactly oh, he like really Buddy is. Is. He yeah. really oh, is. Oh, that's great. One hundred percent who he is. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That thing got unplugged. Damn. All right, yeah. we might as well get into some questions. So this is a hypothetical pod. We do what if scenarios, would you rathers, okay. F Mary kills, all that fun stuff submitted by you, the listeners. If you would like preferential treatment, go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash scenario pod. We have over 300 hours of backlogged uh, library exclusive to our Patreon, and you guys get to submit the questions each and every week. So uh, let's move fun. Uh, let's move on. Robert V. Let's move fun. Let's move fun. <laughs> Robert V 2001 You have your own zoo with four different animals What? <laughs> He's laughing, laughing. No yeah, I know but there, was like, there was eye contact Whenever <laughs> Feeney laughs and it's not kind of like generic oh, fun And dude. he's looking at somebody else That means and it's on somebody I know and even somebody. when like Even when he's wrong for laughing <laughs> It gets me to laugh Because yeah. it's, that, it's that class Like when you're in class and something happens And you're just looking at your friend And you guys are trying so hard not to laugh And that's my favorite laugh <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> Yeah I don't that's like great. it I don't like it. <laughs> Robert V. 2001. That's my chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have your own zoo with four different animals, and you're trying to get rid, rid and take over the other competitive zoos using your own animals. Which animals are you picking for your takeover? Just four Wait, rhinos. You, yeah, Just give you, me four so rhinos. You have four animals, and you're using those animals to take over other zoos? That's right. You know what? I take it back. Rhino, like silverback gorilla. Hippo. Hippo's yeah, good one. Bring a hippo. No. But hippo, do hippos like how long can they like are they What's their stamina? You're what's their ask? No, no, I because they'll they'll do a lot of damage in a short amount of time, but I feel like there needs to be some sort of body of water near them. We could flood the zoo. No, I don't I don't think so. I don't I think they necessarily need water to survive, but I feel like they thrive. Haven't water. you ever seen that picture of the black guy running down the dirt path away from a hippo on They call that a mudslide. <laughs> Remember that joke? No, what do you call a bunch of black people going down a mountain, a mudslide? Why would it be black people? Wouldn't Remember, it be, hey, uh, I didn't come up with that joke. Uh, We're going to cut that. <laughs> wow. Easy. Yikes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but wait, it's saying, it's saying fish. <laughs> You're a good man, Joe. Right. Thank You're you very a good much, man Joe. for Thank doing you that. But you Joe. know when Cannon goes, Please oh, move on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move on from that. <laughs> It's saying physically take. It doesn't mean like like outdo the other zoos. Like I think it's open to interpretation, I, but I like physical. Yeah, I'm, I'm another, thinking of like it says you're trying to get rid of over. and take over the other. Yeah, the other zoo okay. using your own animal. It says using your own animal, okay. so it's like. When they say which animals are you picking for your takeover, huh. it sounds like it's by force other than you're like developing a T yeah. Rex to get people to come to yours to put them out of business. That's what I thought. I thought it was like you're creating like this like army of animals to take over another zoo. Right. When it's really you're just creating another zoo if you were to create a better zoo. No, I think you are actually entering by force. Okay, then this is what you do. All right. You gotta right. take four animals that will create a mega weapon. So a rhino, a uh snake, some sort of big snake, the anaconda, a gorilla. Okay. And you know, a parrot for me. <laughs> <laughs> just say just say all the animals I said plus a fourth one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, plus a different one. <laughs> Spell gorilla. You said all those? Spell gorilla. Uh G O R G I L L A. Nice. Yeah. It usually doesn't go that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never. It does Never. take that long though every time. Uh and and so what would yours be? Um I think it would just be four hippos. 
I, I, I have no, I have so hungry. much, I have so much respect for the hippopotamus <laughs> and, uh, and what they could do. They could fucking bite through the bars of each cage Dude, they're that nuts. unloads all the animals. They can barge through shit, the plexiglass, you name it. They're fucking shit up. Yeah. They're nuts. All right. I was going to say four bears, but I, I would do two bears oh. and, and two hippos based on that they can chew through the stuff. One of those yeah. big, like, Kodiak hey. bears, those giant fucking... Yeah. You ever see that video of the fan boat or whatever the boat is, and they're doing some tour, and they see, all of a sudden the seaweed kind of moves, and the hippo is just, like, speed boating yeah. towards the fucking yeah, boat? Yeah, I have seen that. But that's, again, in water. Yeah, but they do that on land. There is water at the <laughs> zoo. There is water at the zoo. There are... You know, you could have the hippo yeah. take over the water thing, like send him that way. Go, go cause ruckus. Go over roll there. in a couple puddles, hippo. <laughs> yeah, go well, cause some ruckus over there. The good thing, I actually would, uh, well, you know what? I'd only have one bear now that I think about it. Because, <laughs> gotta diversify. Who's coming to a zoo for four bears? Well, cause, well, no, hold on. No, I'd have one hippo. Mm. I'd have, uh, two bears and then one gorilla because you, because the hippo and the gorilla, I feel like they're pack yeah, animals. Yeah. They could they could maybe summon the other uh, uh, gorillas and and hippos to help them. Dude, yeah. yeah. If a gorilla, the bears. I, I mean, I don't know how many bears are, are there. Bears? Would you rather? I think you could right? find a bear. Yeah, at this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think like the black bears. Is, I don't think there's sleeping. like grizzly. Do you, they're always if sleeping. you have uh, if you had a hippo and a silverback gorilla charging you at once. What would you do? Like, which would you be? Assuming you couldn't just immediately kill yourself, I would. You, uh, I would dive directly into the hippo's mouth, and then like, go like this from the inside, <laughs> rip it from the inside. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that'd be cool. Because if that gorilla touches you, You're I mean, it's, it's over. It's just like it's gonna like paw your face off and it's, then throw you around. Isn't Hulk v Loki? Aren't you supposed to like get yeah. into a fetal position and like <laughs> and like pretend to be dead? For certain or bears, you are not for all bears. Some uh, bears get big. Yeah, no, bears will swat you around on the ground. Oh my god. You've seen the revenant? Yes, I have. But if I'm in if I'm in a ball, I mean, you're getting you're getting cut. I get that. But <laughs> more than cut. There's ball. vital, vital organs that are exposed you that think, they have. You think talons. the scrunching up your body. What are you, an armadillo? <laughs> How do you do this? Where where are you? Yeah, yeah what do you uh, just My like, whole back is so much eggs and my Iron Man suit comes on <laughs> yeah. as he's in his fucking. He's turned into the sonic ball. Yeah, I go, fucking... Oh, okay. <laughs> Start flying. The uh, you're supposed to get very big and very quiet. Quiet? No. I thought loud. No, no, no. Loud. You get for 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 no, black I bears, alone, dude. For loud. black bar black bears, you get big and loud. For like grizzly, like the crazy, the bad ones, you have to. I think that's fetal position and quiet. And like oh. you have to like not make eye contact, but don't turn your back to them. Oh, and you have to do that like hey bear, hey bear. Yeah, you go hey bear, hey bear, hey bear. Hey, bear. I think you're supposed to do. You're yeah. not supposed to be like hey bear. You're supposed to like yell at them. Wait, that's, why? that's the black bear. You have to get big. And spit. I don't think They're you like, have to say here. bear, but every video I see says bear. They're like, no bear. Hey, bear. Yeah. Why? Why? Why are they literally saying bear? Because they, I, don't know. I, I saw a guy they recognize their name. Uh, yeah, I saw a guy. <laughs> yeah, they like they, they, go, they appreciate the formality. Yeah. Of bears. No, you make them have some sort of crisis of like, what are they? They go, hey, bear. They go. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Calling them bear is the usted form of bear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, the most ultra. What the hell? It's very funny. Yeah, I saw a guy. What, he was like shitting in the woods, and that happened. He went poo bear, poo bear. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh boy. Having a All good right. time. Call Voss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell him about that line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that band doesn't work, huh? <laughs> 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 I think we're missing some uh, pretty, like, not obvious animals that would be great for this. Go ahead. You know, maybe like a, like some sort of hawk, some sort of big bird could also be really. Birds don't. Some can kind I, of can big I, can bird or Elmo. Though? Because yeah. you say, I think we're missing. And then that's all you got. Yeah. Because you had no idea sure. what animals we were missing. You just were accusing us of missing animals. Well, Yes. I will, I will admit that. But I saw you pick up the phone for the next question. And, and you like, just wanted to bring it. You wanted We're to all throw saying it, gorilla, to bear. Around the diamond None of us even time. said lion. No, I thought lion, but... but Hippo outbeats and rhino beats ro lion. I don't think lions are quite as... I might be very wrong in what I'm about to say. I feel like <laughs> lions aren't quite as aggressive as we think they are with compar in comparison to these other animals. The stuff I've seen online about bears is like... Yeah. 
You, it's like you're you're fu- you don't have a fucking chance. <laughs> there's nothing. They can they can run yeah. thirty miles an hour. They can climb up trees a, at like twenty miles. There's an a hour. real violence problem in the bear community. Right. Yeah. Br- it's all it, that goddamn rap built. music <laughs> they're listening to. Well, watch that movie, The Edge, where it's you know they're Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin, mm. and the bear gets like their scent, and that's the whole movie. They're stuck in the wild, like oh having to God. deal with a bear. That and it's incredible. And it's, I love it's both an of those actors. Awesome movie. Yeah. It's awesome. David Mamet wrote it. It's a great movie. But um, what is it called? The Edge. We're going like, to put that on right now. Sounds Nicole. like the greatest movie I've ever. I love yeah. David Mamet. It's I, awesome. All I love Alec actors. Baldwin. I love a bear. I love everything. I'm in. Yeah. But they really put in perspective like how, what it is you're dealing with with a bear. So what do you it's, do? Poking in the eyes or something? There's got to be well, a way I don't want to ruin, I don't want to yeah, ruin, ruin like ruin the movie. I will watch they, it tonight. Okay. Yeah, but they, they, you they, gotta, they get into a strategy. They get into it with the bear. Like, yeah, yeah. It's awesome, though. It's an awesome movie. <laughs> imagine, imagine we watch it and get to the end of the movie, and they're just going, hey, bear. Yeah. Hey, bear. <laughs> hey, bear. Hey, <laughs> hey, poo, bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nudging each other. I yeah. came up with Oh, that. by the way, uh, they are continuing uh, filming for Rust with Alec Baldwin in the lead. So really? Everybody. That movie's going to so do So the it. charges the got dropped? No. What? Yeah, no. He's not going to serve any time. There's going to be such a significant change from one scene to the next scene where they're like, his <laughs> his eyes are going to be like normal and they're stuff. Gonna, and then, and then they're like, like you know later that night, <laughs> it's like, um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, suddenly has gray I, hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to get the rust yeah. off this. Yeah, there's so <laughs> much so rust. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Wait, okay, I, there, that's yeah. another whole other layer now. I don't yeah. understand how that's possible given the charges. I don't understand how the production is allowed to continue. Yeah. I don't oh, it's under- very easy. Money. But I don't understand also why he's being charged with anything. It's not, he is not the he's weapon. He's producer. No, they, well, they charge him with involuntary manslaughter. For what though? He's in he, a scene. He techni- they, no, but I'm saying as the executive he, yeah, producer I, and the person that was supposed to basically oh. organize this whole thing, and as the actor, Liability. they're saying that even though it's fake, it's whatever. You're still not like there is a set rule that you're not supposed to aim it at anybody when when okay. the cameras aren't rolling. I don't know. I don't see how he does any time. Was the cameras but, not rolling? No, it wasn't. He oh. was rehearsing. They were just walking around. He was hey, literally like ow, dirty ow. harrying and pointing yeah. at different members. But that's also <laughs> crazy because that's like a classic scene in cinema is like the pointing the camera at the gun like that's yeah. like that's the end of Goodfellas is from the great train robbery which Scorsese was doing an homage to which is like one of the original like first films ever made where they it ends with him like pointing to the camera and shooting a gun at it well they uh, said he also allegedly uh denied like certain training or something yeah he so, he was on the phone during the really training yeah he was like so, talking to his on the phone. <laughs> yeah yeah bang 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 it's <laughs> fake they're fake what, what am I, I mean, training wouldn't, for wouldn't you though if you were like if they're like I'm gonna give you this gun on set it's not gonna have any bullets in it it's like it's like yeah then I don't need gun training you know what I mean like just uh, make sure there uh, aren't uh, bullets in it yeah let me guess pull it. the trigger and make the it sound I feel yeah. like if you're being paid several million dollars you could probably take the phone off your ear just if anything, uh, that's why I can't take the phone off my ear. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's money to move. True. I forget what actor said it, but it's true. It's like it's like th- like they can they're making dinosaurs. Why is there ever even a chance of a loaded gun on a right. set? It's crazy. Yeah. Like, why are they even using blanks at this point? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not just toy guns with a fucking and then all CGI it? You know, it's what I mean? so nuts. It is yeah. so nuts that a real gun still makes it. It is pretty cool. cool do you think? Do you think like? Because there probably were some blanks in there, and then there were there were one active. So how many people was he just like ha, 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 click? That's exactly ha, ha, click, ha, ha, that's, dead. But uh, I read about it. That's exactly what he was. Do- I mean, he wasn't going like ha 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 ha, but he was like there was a ton of blanks and one real bullet, and he was going like. But who bang, put that real bang. bullet in? Because they were they were they- shooting off off uh, that. Yeah, but not him. No, he no. was. It was. The, it was like, like during lunch break. Somebody yeah. was like the props department was like shooting like cans it's off the side shit. of a railing. It's just fucking bad shit. It's just bad shit. So I get it. Okay, so as a producer, he should have been regulating all that or or part of. Sure. And okay, I get it. Now I get it. But yeah. but he shouldn't be arrested for that. It should be like. You know the person, the, the 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 prop people should be arrested for that. But, Free Alec Baldwin, but he hired them. It's like who? Is sure, yeah, fine? but it's like that's but again, this that's, isn't that's like a kids fine. drinking a at, at a house and right. the, the and how does that usually trouble. work out if a kid drinks and then gets hurt? At, yeah, but that the this, what I'm saying is this ain't that. But I feel like that also when it that is. does happen, that's a lawsuit. You never you never see like if a if it was like underage drinking and a kid falls in a pool 
and dies, the parents don't go to jail. They just pay millions of dollars. Well, because it's not a crime, rather than liable. Right. Well, that's what yeah. Alec Baldwin would be in this scenario. But that's scenario, a crime. Is, somebody, is liable. somebody was killed. I don't get, I don't get, uh, uh, what the, I bet parents have gone to jail or at least to trial if a kid has died in their home. If a kid overdosed or got drunk and fucking died. Maybe if house. the parents supplied the intoxic. The Not barbiturates. if the, no, man, if you drink oh, on their property. That's what I was going to say. I, I disagree with you about the money thing. Like they've, they've. How does that feel? They, but they've, they, they've, they've, can't, they've shut down productions for far less. Right. I mean, they just, they just put a Batgirl movie in the fucking toilet. Yeah. Like, yeah. Forget it. It's not good enough. This movie is going to make no money. Or it's going to make or all the money because it's going to be money, like yeah. the, it's going to be like the Seth Rogen movie where they were like, we can't, this can't, this yeah. can't it, it, but they'll, it, it won't. This, they'll pirate it. Like they, nobody wants to support nobody. It's, it's not, it, yeah. this movie won't make any money. There's nothing controversial happening on screen. We don't know what is, I don't even know what it's about. I mean, no, but but my point, it's just... Metal it's a, getting wet? It's a Western or something. Yeah, you know, but like... Drinking my, game. My point is, is it's not The Crow. It's not like Brandon Lee is in the movie, and then yeah. apparently he got shot in this scene, and what? oh my God, are we going to... There, yeah. There's nothing like that. And then there's also nothing like the Seth Rogen thing, where it's like, what is happening in this movie that they don't want anybody to see it? This is literally just a movie that nobody gave a shit about to begin with, Alec Baldwin is already out to pasture and persona non grata. And now it became this infamous thing because of uh, an <laughs> off camera incident that is, has nothing to do with the, the person that died is not an actor in the movie. They're a crew member and I'm not discrediting them. I'm not like downplaying it. I'm saying like, it's not like another actor got shot right. and people out of sick fan fascination are going to watch it. It's just this goes right back to my a point, movie. Though. Nobody cares. This about. makes my point is the fact that first off, we're talking about a movie that nobody cares about. Yeah, Secondly, but we ain't watching. Aren't you? I ain't gonna watch it. I, are there? You won't be curious at all when it comes out. Where you go because that's exactly the question. Where you go, what the fuck is it about this movie that somehow is overcoming all the shit? And because movies have been shut down with bigger budgets for far less. That this is pushed through. There's some no. Curiosity. Maybe there's a thing like she would want it to be pushed through. Like maybe that's kind of happening where they're like, "Well, what would she want? She worked really hard on this movie. I bet she'd want to out. not be shot. Yeah, that's yeah. probably her biggest. Dream. That was her last word. They're like, "Do you want us to still put out the movie? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> put out the bullet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree that 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 that's probably the one motivation is like after all this loss, you know, everybody shouldn't suffer. And her, uh, she should be honored. And I it agree. Won't go in vain. Yeah. 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 But It'll be dedicated it to her. Yeah, but it doesn't change the fact, in my opinion. Nobody wants. Nobody cares about this. Yeah, movie. you're right. I mean, as you were saying that, I was like, I'm not even going to see the movie. I have no interest. I in bet seeing you'll see it. You and you of the two people I know, specifically you. Yeah. yeah. Not a single person I know watches right. more awful movies than this man right here. <laughs> by the if way, it's good, you won't watch it. That's right. And this is also, <laughs> by the way, this is also one of these like, which is what happens now with with stars like Alec Baldwin. Aside from his controversies and all that stuff, you get to a stage in your career now where you're doing the equivalent of like direct to, to VOD. Yeah. Because they just put it on a streamer. Yeah. Uh, or direct to DVD, I mean. Uh, and, and they just put it on a streamer. That's what this movie is. Like, Alec yeah. Baldwin is not a box office leading man. There's nobody this else. This isn't Tombstone. Yeah, nobody yeah, else is famous even yeah. in the movie, I don't yeah. think. Like, this is going to be like his a, Western accent. I kind of want to watch it just for whatever he. For does. sure, I want to take an edible and just. We'll definitely well, get the, high. And, I said, but I'm jokingly you're not proving me wrong because I admitted to it. This, jo jokingly, this go. Dope I'm not gonna backtracking left. I'm and right. coming with you to the movie. Don't throw. <laughs> I'll oh, fucking. Oh, well, I'm paying. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. Uh, he pays for you when you go to the movies together. Sometimes I'll buy the food. He'll buy the tickets. But legally, I don't understand how it's able to continue. We keep talking. Sorry. You probably have <laughs> no, I'm, I'm that. very happy that you I mean, keep doing it. He's disgust with just that, yeah. that arrangement well, because right there's there. A, there's a lot going on I would pay for your food, too. Yeah. yeah but, I, I would buy you a ticket. But yeah. you go, here's the thing. This is what's hilarious about this. You want a ticket? Here's, go the, see a movie. here's the hilarious thing about it. <laughs> you go always go mid-days, which means yeah. you are spending significantly more money than you are. You're saving a ton of movies during the day is like six fifty. You're paying it's nine dollars for just the popcorn plus the two fuck? drinks. You're spending triple the money, and that's why I'm laughing. Well, we're ordering lobster bisque. 
How many? I have a question. Yeah. How many of these scenarios do we have to do? <laughs> we're supposed to. We're only more than one. We only did okay, one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we'd each take a bear, two hippos, and an Alec Baldwin to take over. And right. yeah. yeah. I, I will. know if there was like a mandatory like ten. I no. Like, I don't no, know. We try to get time. No. We're, <laughs> no. 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 We, this, <laughs> yeah. We we do ten, then we chop it down to three. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We try to get to two. We do have <laughs> you for the afternoon though. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. That's yeah. Cool. Right. Yeah. Uh, I would watch a movie just saying. And then we'll move on. But I would, I, I'd more watch a movie about the actual actor Alec Baldwin in jail than Rust. And that's okay. a little bit that I'm gonna start. I got gotcha. you. I'm with you. Are you? Hey, oh. why? Why <laughs> is there a mural of you at the New York Comedy Club? Why are you the only person they now, painted on the wall? He was the first person to die there. What does that mean, yeah. dude? <laughs> yeah, they're literally. That's like, an insane tribute. What? what I know. It's like on? such an honor. It's crazy. The artist What's, has. Love. She, he heart. thinks she loves me. I think she just. I think it's just to paint me is funny. She, she She's like, painted him she, three times, which I've she had to. She fucking wishes Brendan was physically what she wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's that's, loves a, him. that's the vibe because she's, oh, she's good looking. I'm sure she's like she loves him. If but that there's personality was yeah. in like a Guido, whatever. I, she'd be all, <laughs> I'm not, or just like a, know, just dude. a thinner version of Brendan. She'd yeah. be perfectly. I, no, I think what it is is I think it's just <laughs> funny to paint me. I think they were like, oh yeah, it'll be it's funny. A, that it's, it's a Sagalo. wonderful uh, uh, tribute. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's very Tony and his horse. I do though. like every picture. Yes, it is it's very it, Tony. And it the is horse. very every he, picture of you with it when you went there. There, there's not a lot of appreciation on Brendan. Everyone's like, mm, like you're uncomfortable by it. Sure. Like you're just like. Eh, well, yeah. What work. am I going to be like? Like sincere? What's yeah. funny about that? I, don't know. I mean, she spent a lot of time. Sure, but it's Cerna style. <laughs> Here's a scenario: Decathlon movie. Oh, Decathlon movie. There's a comma. Which Decathlon movie do you think you could actually win? Nerds, old school, or Billy Madison? I don't remember. I need to know like the actual events in all of them. I remember old school. There's the rings and the. The, and the there's, there's, a there's a test. There's a test. There's I couldn't do Billy it, Madison. Yeah. Which yeah. one's that again? That's, that's like there's the no trivia. like physical stuff. In there, there was. Yeah. They raced. That's they it though. Yard, but, yeah. but the the old school they have to do the cheerleading. Right. Jumping it, through a yeah. fire. The, box the ring. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the mascotting. The yeah. mascotting. Oh, I would love to do mascot. I I've done this before I think, but I I I got uh, <laughs> offered to do I like one of my the work study jobs when I was at in college. You were gonna be a Nick City dancer. Yeah. They, uh, the very same, uh, they were, they offered me to like, you really are like a costumeless mascot, isn't he? In that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest. You're just, you're just silly. <laughs> just, that was the greatest improv swap. <laughs> yeah. The most opposite of yes. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's more of Story a story of my fucking it. life. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, I go, here's the ball, and Feeney just takes it and pops it yeah. and looks at me. <laughs> yeah. oh, dude, that's how I play basketball against my son, what you just did. He goes to shoot, and I spike it in his face. And I'm like, Good. get better. Yeah. I mean, you should do that. You shouldn't let, are you ever going to let him win? But can't you see a mascot walking around being like, pew, 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 pew. But that's pew. why, so they, I worked in the athletics department, and we would do, do all stuff for games and everything, and they were like, do you want to be like the mascot because it was a, it was this giant it was like I own it. it was like a big like it was basically like a giant leprechaun gale guy who would like run around and just and I'm like dude this seems awesome and I would love to like because it's it's full full vulnerable silliness without any of the people being like Mike what do you do like if nobody knows you're in there you're as free as you could possibly be while entertaining in public it's a very intoxicating yeah. notion and then not to mention you can like you could you could kill even if you're doing anything badly. It's like ah, oh, he's a mascot. It sucks. And so I went to go do it once, and it was the most foul smelling. Yeah, yeah it's horrible. It's the sweat that happens in there because my roommate had done it. He's like, dude, it's terrible in there. It's so hot. And there's like a little fan on top that like does it. Just blows hot smell air. Oh my god. And they're like, we Febreze it, and it just it smelled like a locker room. And I immediately was. They were like, you just put this on your hair. It's gonna like it. And I go, I don't. I can't. No. I can't do that. But I, but then when I would watch mascots, and even now I like see mascots on TV, and I'd be like, I could do better than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then if you try to like take a break, everybody's laughing at you because you're a mascot. Not 
dancing or doing I don't know. Any, it's so funny. I, anybody I've ever known that was a mascot, like I said, my roommate you're, did it. And you're stuff. all over the internet, like, mascot smokes cigarettes, you know, <laughs> cracks his back. <laughs> the Disney World employees <laughs> just kind of fucking lifelessly yeah. smoking. Yeah, yeah, you look like the Times Square, like, <laughs> women with the face See, up See, now, here. that's different. Like, doing that and even doing the Disney World thing does not seem fun to me because that's a lot of, like, hi, like, to, but mascot, like, games, like, pumping everybody up, like, getting, like, right. like, fucking with the other fans, like, you know, of the other team. And, like, that shit seems yeah. great, you know? I would get into so many fights. You know when they, like, throw water on a guy and it's, like, a whole planned thing, yeah. like, the other team, and then the guy's like, what the? And he, like, yeah. picks him up and fireman carries him out and the whole place goes crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I the, even if it was the, like, non-smelling version of the first thing you were saying, I would hate that. Yeah. Why? If you didn't sweat? No, yeah, like, the, the I've been in, like, costumes like that, so the, 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 the I hate, I hate it. Um, but, but that part aside, the anonymity to be silly is like, that doesn't in, in, in yeah. engage me at all. Why? I guess I'm that self-conscious. Like even in the suit, I would be like, they're all, oh, they're I, all I looking do at this me. Dumb wave and like all this stupid <laughs> shit. Like, I don't know. I just, I just would feel like a fucking moron. But I, I would love first... you as a mascot. That would be, I would relate to you more <laughs> like, than anybody. Like, like why does the, the guy I like? Why does the mascot have shoulders? I like the, a grizzled, I, I like, obsessed. Yeah, I like the mascot. Just, like, just yeah. like the mascot's talking <laughs> shit about the other mascot yeah, that's on. Right uh, now. Just, uh, just, uh, just yeah, doing yeah, this. Yeah. this guy in a costume being like, this guy's a fucking hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I just would feel like an ass. Yeah, I think you would for the first two seconds, and then when. Someone once goes like, "Who's in there?" Like I did that one time, like in like 2005 or something. I went to a uh, uh, like a Halloween party as like Green Man, so I had the full lycra uh. outfit on. Where you and you cannot see. Did you pack your cot? Like, did you stuff your? It dick? was that part's really difficult because yeah, yeah. it is. There's. It's it, just everything. How do you piss? all at once? To piss is a nightmare. You have to unzip it from the back and take the whole oh thing God. off. It's it's a it's a real hell. But uh, but just. And, you know, it was always a thing, like, in Always Sunny, where he would, like, throw the volleyball at, like, D and stuff like that. So I used to have a volleyball. But, like, this, it's on your fingers, so you can't even hold, like, the volleyball slip. You can't have your phone. Like, I had to, like, put a bag to the side. Because I was at the party and said I forgot a costume. And I just was, like, at the party for, like, a good hour. And then once people started getting drunk, I, like, dipped into the bathroom, came out as that. And everybody at the party was like, who is that, though? Like, literally, like, they had no idea who I was. But then, I, then it sucks, because then you're like, well, I guess I can't drink for the rest of the night now. Like, <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of <laughs> like, yeah. like take a knife, uh, cut a little hole. Yeah. See, that's more of my problem with the anonymity is I would do something silly in a big costume, get a huge laugh and be like, but guys, it was me. It yeah. wasn't the Dutchman. Me the whole time. <laughs> yeah, and then they go, oh. <laughs> yeah. I've done group, uh, I've done like Halloween events with people with group costumes where I've not fully committed to the group costume because I can't. <laughs> I I have to be able to access whatever I need to access at all times. I'm yeah. not that whole thing of like ah, it's going to suck but just commit to it it'll bring so much joy to the party and all that like fuck that man like <laughs> no fucking way. Well, can't you wear like a, a like a fanny pack or something put your phone and your keys and all that shit in? I, there? I wouldn't even wear but here's the I won't even wear a mask on Halloween because yeah. I can't stand the constriction and the heat and like every time I want to drink, I got to lift it up. I yeah. felt that way about Thanks. face paint too, growing up. Like whenever you yeah. put your oh, whole, yeah. I couldn't fucking handle it. Yeah, because I'm constantly yeah. like going like, like touching my face, sweating. it's getting everywhere. Yeah, anything that's like where, excuse me, anything where I can't be normal within 30 seconds, I'm like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. Except drugs. <laughs> well, dr yeah, that's different. Yeah. They make me better. Yeah. <laughs> So well, I always say, I've always had that theory where it's like the only thing that would sell better than drugs is an off pill for drugs. Yeah. Like right. if you could just be in the middle of a Molly thing and being like, I fucking, I just want out. Yeah. And just be like, goop. But you have, no, you have to snort it. Yeah. <laughs> it's why I stopped doing like Molly or mushrooms or even weed. Anything that took me out of myself where I didn't have an ejector seat button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even with booze. Uh, and people will say, well, booze is like that. It's not for me. Like, I just can handle it, and I, I, in real time, I can handle it. Yeah. I know exactly yeah. where I'm at at any moment. 
and I know when it's going to be too much. And, and if I you have Coke on you, that <laughs> is the off button. <laughs> well, there is yeah, that. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> or Adderall. Yeah. yeah. There is that thing, though, where it's like, we talked about this before, of drinking when, like, <laughs> if you could be fucking blacked out, but then if your friend is, like, throwing up or passed out, you can be sober enough to, yeah. like, feel yeah. like I can take yeah. care of that. Like, it, there's not like, oh, that sucks. I'm fucked up, too. You're like, all right, I got you, man. Like, it becomes yeah. a... A weird yeah. thing. But yeah, I don't like anything that takes me that prevent. I need an out. Uh, who was I just talking to about this where they said, oh, God, this is going to kill me. I was talking. Nicole, edit out that three minute pause. <laughs> yeah. Actually, can we save that pause in case we need some No, that's silence? good. We'll use it for room tone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys really going to edit out that pause? No, of course uh, not. We we'll put it in a stack of uh, Really? Yeah. 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 That'll be Actually, a Actually, re-put in the, the mudslide joke right during yeah. the <laughs> silent three minutes. <laughs> no, this is going to drive me crazy. I was talking to somebody, and they were just saying how they needed... They needed an out at any moment. Like mm. anytime they felt trapped, they were like, forget it. I'm not doing it. That's what like, cigarettes yeah. are at you a know? party, social situation. That's why a really it was nice. So offer. hard yeah. for me to quit. I, yeah. I, I was very happy when I finally did, but it was so hard to quit because cigarettes were the excuse oh, to the never best. get caught in a conversation. Yeah. But to me, I always, I never understood that because, and I, I, I wasn't a cigarette smoker. I've had like a, a few. But it just to me where there's like that thing of like, all right, let's say you're you're talking to somebody who's like way too annoying, way too clingy inside a party. And you go, all right, I'm going to go outside and have a cigarette like nine times out of ten. About, I'll, I'll have a cigarette. too. I'll come well, that just makes them more annoying. Right. Well, yeah, that that and then you're trapped. You're no. And then you smoke like this and then you just go outside and this is how you're hanging out. You're just smoking. They're like, so like wh yeah. what got you into comedy? And you're just like that's. Craigslist. That's what I'm saying. Now you're stuck in a, at least in a party. At least in a party, you can go, hey, man, I'm going to go to the bar and get another drink. And then if they're like, I'll come too, be like, I'll get you one. You know what I mean? Like, you could, if you're stuck, oh, basically, when, you're stuck, to, when you're stuck to a clinger, yeah, but they bought the food. So, uh, <laughs> when you're, and the matinee ticket. Yeah. When you're stuck, <laughs> when you go to, when you go, when you're stuck talking to an annoying person, you go, you basically, when you go to cig smoke a cigarette, you go, I'm going to go stand outside in a stationary place that I'm trapped. So come, Corner. Yeah, I like that because I like being al just alone. I like being outside but also of the just party alone. Smoking a cigarette, even in a conversation, it's easier to be a wall of listening because you don't. Your mouth is occupied. You don't have to yeah. really think of something to say. Yeah. You can kind of just relax there and be like, yeah, too. yeah, whatever. Yeah. There's something about it that facilitates the interaction better than when you're inside. Yeah, and also too, I I thought that it actually helped. Uh, <laughs> It helped uh, keep the drinking in check. There's something, I mean, if you're going outside even twice an hour That's to get some air. 10 to yeah. 20 minutes, yeah. You know, it's yeah. like you're getting air, you're moving outside for a second, <laughs> you know. There is something it's, about There is something that, like, it keeps your energy up a That's bit, a good point. you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, like, the cigarette does give you, like, a buzz. You're outside in the cold if it, or whatever. But you cold go, is the best, it's yeah. It's the best. You go outside, you're, like, drunk. And you're like, there are those times oh, we'd be at, like, rules. <laughs> be at Patty's and we'd, like, We'd be, you know, be in a hot bar in, in February. Yeah. We're all, like, sweating in there. And then, every, so like, one person. Like, some people go out to smoke cigarettes. And then we would, like, hey, I'm going to smoke a little weed. And then you go outside. And you're, like, freezing. And, like, you go from, like, the sweating to this feels great to starting to get a little cold to where you're, like, violently, like, shivering. Yeah. And then you go back into the heat with, like, a new buzz. And you're, like. Yeah, oh, you smell, yeah. like. I, I always love the smell of cold cigarette. It, like, reminded me of my oh, mom for some smell. reason. Yeah. I never no, I liked it. it. I liked. I didn't like the smell of coal. I know what you're talking about. I didn't like it, <laughs> did but I did. My mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> did. <laughs> She's a cold cigarette of a woman. She would go outside and smoke, and then she'd come <laughs> in, and I'd we'd hug, and she she'd smell so good. <laughs> I liked uh, my uncle. My aunt and uncle smoked when I was growing up, and their house always smelled like when you walked into it. There was a smell of cigarettes, perfume, and cologne, and it smelled so good. Mm -hmm. Good. It was just like in the house. It smelled so good mm -hmm. uh, to me, and I'm that's that like there is a yeah. way that cigarette, lingering cigarette smell can smell really good. Yeah, if it's blended with. Oh, I remember. I remember my dad. Uh, my dad's chair, who nobody else was allowed to sit in, but right. every once in a while when he was at work, I would You'd piss in it. Uh, I'd piss and shit <laughs> out of fear mostly, but uh, <laughs> he, the entire chair smelled like Coca Cola. Cigarette, uh, Marb Reds, and uh, Speed Stick. 
Like oh, I could, wow. I could smell wow. his speed stick. Holy shit. Do they still make speed stick? I don't yeah. know. My dad used that too. Speed stick. That was my first deodorant. Yeah, mine too. Used. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah. Is that still a thing? My first deodorant was that extreme. It is. That one that was sponsored by Bam Margera. It was like <laughs> the extreme <laughs> deodorant. You know you what I mean? You fucking have stunk since day one. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. Why do you think yeah, you want yeah, deodorant? Yeah. <laughs> was it, what was it? Was it Axe? No, it was It was X, called X, X, with Extreme. An X. No, oh, yes, I remember X. that stuff. Yeah, and it would come out of the uh it wouldn't come out like this i know what you, you know mean. it would come out like that and i one time i saw x-men 2 with that guy pyro who like yep. yeah. had that thing so i bought one of those and i made this and then i bought this like ankle you know not ankle a uh, wrist protector thing and i taped it together and i put a lighter right here and i fucking made a flamethrower and my mom found it <laughs> she was like what the fuck is this You're like it's for my enemies yeah, <laughs> yeah. christina said she I would, didn't love me i would so. have rather found a gun <laughs> what the fuck is this thing yeah that's creepier yeah. a, a man made a you know, yeah, exactly <laughs> flamethrower yeah. yeah it's like finding beakers in your in your kids room that's yeah. so funny, man. I uh, yeah. they that's so you went with the aerosol de uh, deodorant. I never, I never was, used it. I I tried it once. It didn't work. Mine really? worked, but it what I didn't like. I used one as a kid that would. It was like an antiperspirant one, and it would just like spackle any like armpit hair that yeah. I had. Yeah, spray the spray. We were like sure. spackle it to where it like hurt. Like it yeah. felt like. You sure that wasn't silly string? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you mentioned it. It was blue and yellow going down my arm. But it, it is. It was a thing where it was like I'd pick my arm up and it'd be like as if your hair got like caught. I'd be like, oh ah, my ah. god, dude! I was like, why does anyone do this? You you put a, yeah, you definitely put way more on when it's the spray because yeah. Well, I used to do. Uh, I've done like the prescribed because I have uh, I have like major pissy pits. They just constantly are sweating. That sucks. Not, not, yeah. But um, so I've tried everything basically, except Botox, because I feel like if I get Botox in my armpits, it'll just displace out of my asshole or like above my <laughs> fucking muscle. Yeah, no, whatever. that happens. To me. It has to go somewhere. Yeah, like your crazy. body needs to cool. It can't just yeah. not come out and you die of overheating. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I did the, uh, the prescription, and it burned so fucking bad. Like it felt like they somebody took a cheese, like a chemical oh cheese God. grater, to the under like, of yeah. the skin, and then on once that stopped. It felt like somebody like painted flex seal under my fucking armpit. Like the whole gig uh. is that it just clogs every one of your pores, oh, sweat glands, and everything. I mean, that's what antiperspirant is, right? It, it just it just clog. It stops your. It stops you. It doesn't stop you from sweating. It just clogs your pores so you can't sweat. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, I've been... that's why it's anti. Perspiring. That makes deodorant. sense. Oh God, that sounds awful. <laughs> yeah. I used to get, but I used to get uh, when I was little because I would use too much deodorant, and I would get like a like a, I don't know what I mean. I, I guess rash, right? Yeah, but yeah. it would like, and then it, your arm it would burn. The skin was and irritated. It hurts, yeah, yeah. It was almost like that. It becomes like almost like a sore or something. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I like the, art. Ga the game changer for me was uh, when they when deodorant turned blue. That oh was, yeah, it got like gel like instead of. But just oh, when it wasn't the, the when it wasn't the white anymore, yeah, that fucking white, I hate it. That white, oh it, yeah, because then it, it also you could see it yeah. on your armpit. I hated, okay. I hated when it was gel though. That felt weird, like the, just putting water essentially on it. I yeah. so when I played basketball, all of my all a lot of my teammates were black, and they they had the white deodorant, and that's probably like the worst thing for them. They, they, they're so, <laughs> and I understand like that whole like band aid like why is it d just fucking pink flesh colored and not yeah. that. It's like similar to deodorant because you put that on. It looked like their fucking armpits were like jizzing snow. Right. And it like and it was all over their fucking skin <laughs> and everything. It was so apparent that was, and uh, obvious. That was before viral videos. The, what would have been a viral video, but it was literally just a TV clip that everybody talked about. Uh, and the way it worked before viral videos was they would have a year in review on like MTV mm -hmm. and they'd talk about all the moments, the famous moments. And you were like, yes, we talked about all of these all year. <laughs> Uh, it was weird though, because there wasn't the internet wasn't big yet or whatever. But when they did Yom TV raps unplugged, LL Cool J 
uh, was shirtless and he did Mama Said Knock You Out. It was a really popular rendition of the song. The video got played a lot, but he had that. Oh. And they talked about that on the year in oh, recap man. about like, oh, he was so good. You could see his deodorant. Everybody <laughs> like, nobody knew if they should say anything. Or, <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, that's so weird. It can unsexy anything. It would have been yeah, like, a, it would been, it would have been an, a meme in 10 Oh yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. yeah. Imagine that could have changed like his respect level in hip hop. Like, it's wild. The, yeah. the meme effect of that, and if it got into the wrong hands, internet wise, like that could have been it for LL Cool J. Yeah, Did you dude. ever see the? Uh, oh, is this it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ew. Yeah. yeah. That's disgusting. That's yeah. He gives a hell of a performance though. <laughs> oh, yeah. of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Look at those. I could watch him eat a peach for hours. He's, yeah, he's, he's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he. Did is you ever awesome. see the Denzel interview where the interviewer brings up the Uncle Denzel meme or whatever? No. Nah. There was that like meme of Denzel smiling. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, from training from like day, training day? When, when whenever somebody's like trending and they're like, so I came to the timeline to see oh, if so no, and so died. And now I'm like one. The, the one, the one in no. the, the one in the car, the right? The car where he's like, no, he says, says can my, say it. my, yeah. my man. Yeah, my, my. Uh, That's not what he says. My man. Yeah, he says that. He no. does say he goes back and forth. He says both. He goes, my oh, man. Yeah. No, it's uh-huh. a, he was at like um he was at like a sporting event or something. And somebody took a picture of him and he, like they just got a bad shot of him. Yeah. And he looks kind of like a goofy uncle. He's got this goofy expression on his face. So everybody memed it and was like, when your uncle talks about how good his ribs are. It was that. Oh, there it is. Right oh, there. no. Oh, dude, no, dude. He, he right? looks like all of my AAU coaches. Yeah. Well, he also has. <laughs> he, he are, looks like he, those are for sure veneers, though, right? I don't even know if they are. I, I feel you. like it just he they just That's got right. him at a goofy moment and yeah. probably extra white they probably doctored this a little he bit looks like he looks like richard pryor did he, yeah yeah, yeah. He like looks like he got sent to that pinocchio island where they all become donkeys <laughs> yeah it's like i i pr- i would be willing to bet that this is doctored they made the teeth just a little bit longer mm, so he sure. looks so he looked it looks a little more like an overbite or whatever because that's what everybody does right but anyway uh, you know, it's like the only time ever that anybody could take shots at Denzel Washington. Sure. The yeah. But honestly, it doesn't even actor. look that bad. It doesn't. It's, it's, you know, but this, there's bad a, bad for him. There's a press sure. junket interview where, um, the, uh, pr- the interviewer like brings it up and they're That's being like, like Hey, uncle Denzel, you know, right, like, right. being a little bit of a little fucking millennial shit. Yeah. Uh, and he literally just goes. Let me tell you something, son. <laughs> and he goes, there's two kinds of people in this world. Those who can and those who watch. What are you going to be? Damn. He shuts it down. Damn. So I love that's that. awesome. <laughs> that, that's like, that both makes yeah. sense and also doesn't make sense enough to just shut somebody up. No, no, no. He, it does make sense because he's saying like all those fucking people that you thought were so funny, they're watchers. I'm out there doing it. Yeah. That's what he was saying. That's right, gotcha. Brendan. Gotcha. Who are you going to side with? You don't get I guess it. You're I'm a, a watcher. fucking watcher. I'm a yeah. watcher. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's the worst about comedians is we're both watchers and doers. So yeah. we're just complete I'm gonna contradictory watch, so. assholes. Yeah. The watch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would win any of these. Actually, uh, old school, I think I would fail. Decathlon. Oh, yeah. I forgot yeah. about this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of the show. Yeah. <laughs> old school, I would fail simply based on the college tests. Billy Madison, I would have a better chance at considering it was all high school tests, even though I'd probably still have a tough time with that. Revenge of the Nerds, I would have crushed every single. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. remember. Yeah, well, they had the javelin throw. They had the mini trike, and they drink a beer every time they go around uh, the track. I could. Do they that. did the singing performance. They did um, shit. They did some other stuff too, but uh, they did some joint stuff with the Omega Moose or whatever. But I would have crushed every one of the, especially okay. that fucking tricycle beer drinking. Yeah, of course. Thing. I never saw the original Revenge of the Nerds. Me I only either. saw the sequel. I've never seen any of them. as a really? child. And I, man, I loved that movie, Nerds but- in Paradise. I fucking <laughs> loved it. <laughs> Is but, there a yeah. rape in that one too? No, it's a light. It's a more light. Okay, it's yeah, a lighter I, approach. I learned. <laughs> it's so <laughs> wild, dude. Have, I've seen that, that scene recently. Have you seen it recently? I haven't seen the movie. So they, they're, you know it. No, I've never. Seen so it. she's like her boyfriend is the big stud. He's the quarterback, yeah. and he's dressed uh, the, the the main chick, the gorgeous main chick that is the prized possession of everybody, both the nerd, the jock, everybody. So she's dating the quarterback. The ner- who's dressed as Darth Vader during this costume party. The nerd dresses as Darth Vader as well, and then is like kind of like without speaking, leads her into the moon house thing, 
takes her in there silently, just like lays her down, starts breathing heavy. And she's like, Stan, take off the mask. And he's like, keeps it on. Oh my God. And he's God. just like, shh. And then just goes down on her for a while. They come back from like going to another scene, come back. And it's just him with the mask off coming up from her vagina. And she's like, a nerd. <laughs> Which nerd You were so it? good. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, that's because all the athletes talk, think about is, is sports and all we think about is sex. Yeah. What, <laughs> Which like, nerd does it in the movie? The main nerd. Robert Carlyle. Is that the thin one with the big nose? Yeah. Not Anthony. Robert Carity. Not Anthony Edwards. Or Robert Edwards, Carity. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or yeah. David Carity. David Car Okay. Yes. Wait, no. Robert Carradine. He is related to David Carradine. No Did shit. you know that? Yeah. yeah. Kung Fu. Oh. Yeah, they're related. Robert, oh, ro his name is Robert Carradine, but uh, but it's Skolnick. Is yeah, the character's name. Yeah, yeah. but uh, the, <laughs> I know a lot about the movie I've ever <laughs> seen. So Robert, is it Darren? Is it Kyle? Is it uh, uh but <laughs> are we recording? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, All right, when we go live, you question? guys are gonna have to laugh a little. Uh, the next question is: Leave a five star review, everybody. Write a review. Leave a five star review. Help spread the word of the show. Subscribe to the pages YouTube. Those numbers are popping up. So thank you very much for all of you. Share the share the show. These are all free ways that you can support. Follow on Instagram, Twitter. Etc. All that stuff is available at here's the scenario.com. Again, Patreon, if you want to submit questions and have preferential treatment, sometimes we get to them, sometimes we don't. But uh, patreon.com slash scenario pod, you guys are helping out us, helping out the show, and supporting our future artistic endeavors. And uh, individually, Joe, what do you got to plug? Wow. <laughs> that was very professional. That was pretty good, right? That was good, yeah. yeah was very like, good. Oh my God. That was as good as the thing you guys did in the beginning where you're like, I'm Mike and he's. Sag a lot. <laughs> you all threw it to each other. Yeah, that yeah, was very good. I mean, we, yeah. there's there's few and far between moments of professionalism on this podcast, yeah. but we can yeah. really. That's what it I allows us keeps to people stretch. coming back. I think is the glimmer of professionalism. Hope. Yeah, they're yeah. hoping for something. You should do a podcast called. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. And that's just. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> But that's the, oh, I know what it's about. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a yeah. perfect I'll phrase fill for in you. the rest. Yeah. yeah, it's a perfect phrase to tell for you. I'd rather you did. Yeah, that is, that that is special. Your, name. That's your solo show. That's your next special. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Nicole, we're rebooting Snarky under a different name. <laughs> yeah. Um, plugging. Uh, when's this come out? Uh, next Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Next Wednesday. Uh. I I'll, I have a bunch of dates coming up. I'll be in uh, Louisiana for for a run of shows, and then I'll be at South by Southwest directly after that. Um, and and then I have a bunch of stuff in the Midwest coming up uh, late March into April, uh, including Chicago and some other great cities. Go to JoeDeRosaInfo.com for tickets and uh, show info. And then you know I've got my bar slash sandwich shop on the Lower East Side, Joey Roses. It's awesome. so good. Woo. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, open seven days a week. Come on in, please. Uh, we open at 11.30 a.m. every day. Affordable drinks, affordable sandwiches. All of it's fun. Uh, come through. I guess that's I guess that's it. I love that. <laughs> affordable drinks, affordable sandwiches, all of it's fun. <laughs> yeah. well, what else could you want? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. That's how you sum it up. Excellent. Oh, yeah. And yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, of course. course. Well, we this still is, got more. Yeah, this, this is, is midway middle. through, by the way. We, oh, we oh. do it midway skank through. style. Yeah. Oh, okay. We do it in yeah. the middle. Okay. Uh, and see us live. We're doing a live podcast and show at the Emmaus Theater March 25th. That's Woo! Right. Emmaus, Pennsylvania. Emmaus, Pennsylvania. Come on out to that. It's and awesome. may us we already present did it. you with some comedy. Yeah. <laughs> We've done it before, and that show was fucking awesome. So come out to that individually. Uh, I stream on Twitch all the time, twitch.tv slash sags to riches. And if you're not on Twitch, you can watch it live on YouTube. You don't even need uh, a Twitch account to watch me and Feeney play um, video games together. So go to youtube.com slash Brendan Sagala. Yeah, and you can see all the stuff at MikeFeeneyComedy.com for all my socials and dates. But what I would like you to do this week, because it's, I mean, really, it's his week, is go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> come see, come see, I mean, come watch as long as you and I will be as well. Mike Cannon at the Gramercy Theater oh, this Saturday. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mike. It is. Yeah, it, at this, oh, I was going to say that too. Tickets, yeah, you yeah. jerk. You fucking it's, asshole. It's, <laughs> it's, definitely, it's sold out by now, so yeah. it's going to be. Uh, right. It's going to be great. Not, it's going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun show. So just uh, come to come to big. What a guy. Big what a, what a friend. Show. What a friend. Unprovoked. That's great, dude. 
Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, out I'm and see Mike. Psych. He's very funny. Super These psych. guys are all very funny, as you know. You listen to the show. I don't know why I'm saying it like <laughs> Sorry. No, no, we we don't get invited for that. But I would, I would tell you. When did you <laughs> become like piss and vinegar? <laughs> You had me on the show, you'd know. I'm just kind of who I am, you know. <laughs> I've never seen the side of you. You're always like so, like nice and and oh, fake, I... full of compliments. <laughs> yeah, is it did you see his face? Lady's <laughs> like face, Nicole. You got to do some sort of close up <laughs> slow mo. Fucking hilarious. Feeny just man. looked like I've he never... was found out I... for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're on to me. <laughs> yeah, you're usually like full of compliments, and you're because I love hanging out with you. That uh, that is sincere. Is that I do like I do like you're a good you're a great drinking buddy because it feels like you're a guy that every time I see you. You're like you're down. You know what I mean. For the most part, yeah, you're that's always a, that's a problem. No, but not like I mean. There's definitely been degenerate times, but I mean, sure. like for the most part, like just I love a person where you can just go, yeah, I'll have a drink. You know what I mean? Like even even if it's just a sitting at a have, sitting at a bar, just having a single drink. Not even like a let's get fucked up. Like let's just let's just sit. To, you enjoy a good drink, which is well, uh, I, it's I'm a lifelong bachelor, and hell in yeah. fact, I I. <laughs> I sent a voice memo, memo yeah. to my buddy, uh, Pat Walsh, who I also do a podcast with called We'll See You in Hell, where we review mostly horror films. Check it out. Um, but uh, We're I done with plugs. But I, <laughs> oh, I oh, sent him a voice E&B, memo. Back again. <laughs> I sent him a voice memo last night. Where I, said, uh, I go, Pat, it's a happy Valentine's Day. I don't mean to rub my Valentine's Day in your face, but I will be going to my... To perform uh, my not fully sold out show this evening <laughs> and then returning home where I'll be eating a trail mix of my own concoction. <laughs> <laughs> the trail mix is just peanut M&M's at this point. Yeah. I think not all that good Which is all of that's true. So uh, I am always pretty down. Like, yeah, because I'm like, well, what do what? Where do I got to be? Yeah. Did, you know, <laughs> by the way. Thank you to everybody that did come out last night. The show was very, did sell very well. I heard it's I'm awesome. Jokes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I heard yeah. we're doing this residency once a month at the Crane of my new hour in in New York City called "I Never Promised You a Rose Garden." It's the same show I'm doing on the road and everything, but it's been fun doing it there for an hour and then going on the road, and that's it. I haven't been doing spots in the city. I have. I've been yeah. really like just mm. like focused focusing stand up on just that. And it's been a really different experience and really fun. And it's I, nice well, to hear that you heard. Nice I was things. talking yeah, yeah. to somebody who saw it, and uh, we we're not. I'm not going to give the joke away, but you have this uh, like a pu- like a public mass shooting joke yes. that he was telling me about. That I was like, yes. it was one of those things. I was like, oh my god, that's so good. Thank you. Yeah. So Thanks. go out and see Joe. Also, since drinking too, I don't think I ever told you this, but. I stopped drinking, and one of the reasons, I, I have a ton of reasons, but one of the things that I think about the most is when we were at, uh, we were at... Asheville. Ash, was it Asheville? I think it was Laugh Your Ash Off, right? No, it was, uh, it was Mike Albanese's. Oh, movie. then Red Clay. Red, Red Clay. Clay. We were at yeah, Red yeah. Clay. You and I? Yeah, we were all there. Okay, oh, okay. I mean, we didn't go together. We ra- rarely, yeah. we didn't really know each other. Right. And I was, like, fucking stumbling around, almost blackout. I go to reach for a beer. I don't think I did anything wrong, but I look up and you're looking at me and you went, you all right, man? And I didn't even know you. And I went, oh, God. I was like, if someone you don't even know is like, you all right, dude? I'm well, like, oh, <laughs> fuck me. Well, I'm sorry that changed your life. Uh, <laughs> at that moment on time, in time, I was on cocaine that somebody had given me that I believe was made out of eraser shape. <laughs> Because it was back when you could just take coke off of any old person and do it. <laughs> the year was 2017. Yeah, the and good it was times. Brendan's times. entire sobriety. I know, you don't even know. Yeah, it's based <laughs> off a hero of his that I was, didn't even was know who coke. it was. <laughs> yeah, I was fucked up. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, Brendan, all right, get but truly. No, Feeney, you gave me, and I've told you this, you gave me my, my favorite compliment that I've ever received ever. Uh, I was in Vegas with Steve Byrne doing shows and we went out on the last night and Steve posted a video of him at the airport, like so hungover. And he was just like, uh, and then the caption was like, you know, went out with Joe DeRosa last night in Vegas. God damn it. Fucking shots, whatever. 
and he looked so sick. And then you wrote, you wrote, neither man nor God has gone out with Joe DeRosa <laughs> and come out in one <laughs> and, and Truly. I, I was so flattered. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, that's an awesome compliment. It, it true. Cause I, I, <laughs> I drank with Steve Byrne in, in Ireland when I, I happened to be in Ireland uh, unrelated while he was doing the Impractical Jokers thing. And it was the last night of their Impractical Jokers whole Euro tour. So they were, they were getting after it. Like they were, they, they, we drank a whole bottle of whiskey between us before, as we were like, before we even went to the bar. And I mean, he can, wow. Steve can drink. Steve can, Steve can really, Steve drink. can really drink. And the yeah. fact that you put a hurting on him is just like, yeah, it's of course, you know, it's like no one comes out of that gladiator fucking uh, field <laughs> <laughs> without a couple scratches and tears. The, you only, know? the only person I know that does likes to do shots more than I do is Steve Byrne. Yeah. Like he's a he, big shots guy. Yeah. And he like, I've, I've known Steve for 20 years. I've hung out with him many, many times <laughs> at this point, but like Steve's cl like classic move. It, he was doing this before he made money in the business. I never understood how he did it, but he, he's big on, he puts his card down and starts like anybody in eye line. Yeah. He's wow. like shot, 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 does, shot. Oh. Like I've seen him. At least two dozen times carrying trays of shots. He, like, he I, I'm too. like, Jesus. I've seen Christ. him do it. And there's something here's the thing. As much as I like, I don't really ever do shots anymore. I hate shots. There is nothing better socially than that moment of you starting to take head counts and go, I'm doing a shot. We're getting you on. Yeah. And it's just like the thing of like, not only are you, I mean, there's the thing of like you buying it for people, which I don't even think is like the thing of it, but it's kind of like a it's the equivalent. It's the drinking equivalent of like, here, I made food. Try this lasagna. Where you're like, hey, I got sure. this for us, and we're all gonna do it and bond together, and okay. we're all gonna reach the next level of wherever we at and are in like in our drinking yeah. tonight. We're <laughs> all gonna go up one level together. That's a cool thing because someone's like, I'll buy you a drink. They're like, okay, I'll have a beer, I'll have a whiskey sour, I'll have a wine, and it's like, I don't know how we're all, but if we all do one shot of the same thing, we're all gonna fucking go up it's, together. It is outside of a sporting event, right? Uh, in in a bar, you know, or or even live or whatever, uh, or, or and maybe a concert. Well, those things are too elaborate. Those are very committed. Inst it is it is the last great social connector that we have. That mm. probably we will always have. Mm. You know, there is no other thing like that anymore. Where you can be in a bar in a or, or in a public place with strangers and friends and all of you come together for this event and everybody has the same exact amount of joy and yeah. enthusiasm and excitement in one and moment involvement yeah everybody's role is the exact same yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i've done shots with guys i've almost gotten into fights with in bars yeah like and oh, yeah. like and like yeah. you know everybody's had a little too much drink you get into it with somebody you're like fuck you know and then they break it up and you're like dude and you do a shot with the guy, yeah. and you're like buddies all of a sudden. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, oh. It is an amazing, amazing thing. Then there's one miscommunication, and you're back to yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get into a fight, <laughs> yeah. Take a you shot both, again later. Let's do a shot. You both say at the same time. Whiskey, tequila, what? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I hated you. Yeah. I, I I drank with you. I think once when I really just started comedy. I forget how, but I it may have been like it was on this street. May have been at the front bar of the Grizzly Pear, but I forget okay. where it was. And we, I drank like too much whiskey. Right. It was just cups of whiskey. And I got yelled at for smoking cigarettes on the subway platform that night. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Back when they had people awesome. in the subway. Yeah. yeah. Like before the subway was fully just machines. Yep. Like when's the last time you saw a subway booth? It like filled with anybody? Well, yeah. It's like I've been watching King of Queens reruns. When I eat dinner each night, that and, show uh, rules. It's great. It's I love it. It's a f really funny show, and it's crazy. Pat Oswalt is like his oh, yeah. job is he's a subway guy, and I'm like, holy shit! I forgot that that was like a thing, like right. where you had to like make change and give tokens. To oh, people. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah like, they just sit in there and they have masks. That's what they do. They provide masks. Yeah, for if you. you want a mask, but they don't like, say. But like, they're still around. I can't remember. There's the last one in Astoria. There's one in the West Fourth Street. Okay. But they they what they do is. They have those booths and they have the windows, but all the windows have a bunch of like information, like new Metro card and sign closing and track things. So like you don't see them because they're kind of blacked out. You have to like go directly up yeah. to the window yeah. and then it's just like a face. Yeah, it's hole. like Brendan's privacy shade on his phone. What does that <laughs> mean? Sketchy bitch. 
Do you just notice that? Yeah. That I have a little privacy shade? It's a little privacy shade, but you can only see it from oh. straight on. Sorry, I built a wall around my castle, and I you're know. jealous? No, I'm not jealous. <laughs> I just know why you're jealous. <laughs> you want to know what I'm you like texting? You lies. I think that's a great idea. They offered that. Let's they do went. one or two more questions. Okay. Uh, Lady Silver, if you, were, if you were head of product development at a major fast food chain, what food abomination would you create? Oh. What abomination would I create? I mean, what if you were if you were head of product development at a major fast food okay. chain? So the, what they may think is an abomination, you may think is a masterpiece. something that would sell. Yeah. Some what kind of friend can you know what I can I something creative it. and involved? Can I say something that's going to be? It, it would be, it would involve inventing a contraption of sorts. Okay, but at Wendy's, I want so you have the frosty in the cup. And now on top of the cup, instead of a lid, it would be like a lid that has a bunch of like holes in it. And I want fries in those holes, just lightly dipping into the frosty. So that way, when you have it, you'll still get a crunch of a fry, but you also get the saltiness of the fry in the, in the ice cream. And you can also, if you, I'm sure you guys have dipped a fry in frosty before. It's, a, it's a magical treat. Right. So, so to have those where they're half in, half out, could be a, that's my about. All right. I just thought of this right now. I thought of a name for it already, and I'm saying this is my idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is a copyright. Okay. Okay. This is. I, I swear to God, I might go do this tonight. Yeah. Like I might make this tonight. It's called the suburg. Uh huh. So not like suburb, but suburg. Like, okay. Sure. We'll work on the name. And it's that's no, gonna make sense in a second. Okay. It's a burger. With all the meats from an Italian sub on top of it, and then melted provolone cheese. Oh my That's god! A great idea! Oh my fucking god! That's a really good yeah. idea. I'm yeah, do it. What is, what is oh it my god, dude! <laughs> Suburg. Oh my god! Suburg, because like sub and berg, mm. like burger and su whatever. Uh, maybe we do need to work on the name. <laughs> <laughs> There's confusion there, uh, but, but, but I mean, credit about the fact sub, that I named it already. I, I think good. you'd have to put in the erger. I think it would have to be suburger. Okay, Suburger. Oh, yeah, Suburger. Suburger. Yeah, there you go. Nice. There you go. Uh, now you got to cut uh -oh. him in for now 20%, you, dude. If you don't think I'm suing you. <laughs> and then I would Eventually? put, I would put uh, le lettuce. I mean, sorry, sorry. Uh, raw onion and, and tomato on it. Nice. And then I would also put, like, uh, hot cherry peppers on it. Hot yes. cherry peppers. Dude, do you do, like, instead of do, you do hot mustard. sandwiches? And then maybe some mayo. I think some mayo would actually do good because it's a burger. Yeah. Do you do no hot mustard, sandwiches at actually. your place? No, we this, only this do cold. This should be like a specialty. I know. We talk about maybe once in a while doing a special hot sandwich, but we don't really have the means. Like our kitchen doesn't yeah. isn't really suitable for it. Um, we can do some hot stuff, but it's very limited. And we started introducing these leftover sandwiches. They're called um, where like we do your your a version of your favorite hot thing, but cold. Mm -hmm. So like we have this thing now called the Cuz, and it's like our ba basically our version of chicken parm, and it's it's chicken cutlets that we make with like regatta cheese uh provolone cheese parmesan cheese and then uh marinated cherry tomatoes instead of sauce but we bake it like a lasagna oh wow like a like a like you know except instead of noodles we use the chicken cutlets and then we cool it and then we cut it into the portions and put it onto the roll so it's like the idea is like you went to the fridge like at 2 a.m and got like a leftover yeah, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, Mike is sweating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there it is. God, right I'm there. so hungry. Oh, wow. Wow. That's there right now. That looks great. <laughs> that's there right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we have a like we have a sausage and peppers. That's so. Those are the first two of the leftovers. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you, you go like a. <laughs> go, yeah. Let's do one more question. <laughs> yeah. So, oh my. Oh wait. But what's, oh. What's, yeah, what's oh yeah. Sandwich? I was thinking like uh, a hero with like basically a McRib but a hero like like a sandwich like that not like a little fucking uh fast food sandwich mm -hmm. McRib with uh mashed potatoes in it and everything kind of just like a plate of ribs and like asparagus on it but on a sandwich Sounds asparagus great. yeah and then you can come up with the name cuz you're really good at that <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why asparagus? Yeah, asparagus is just, and ribs are a very I've never heard of that. Together. Wait, yeah, I didn't. What about the mashed potatoes and ribs? Not asparagus, but what are the greens? <laughs> broccoli. I didn't rob. hear you say. Do you mean broccoli? Oh, rob? Broccoli. Rob. Hold on, great. I didn't hear you say it. 
I just heard Mike say asparagus. <laughs> and then that didn't register. And I swear to God, in my head, I went, why did Feeney just say asparagus? <laughs> and then I go, wait a minute. He must have fucking said that was part of the sandwich. <laughs> that was the weirdest. And then I, that we also was skated alarming. past. We also skated right past mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Is, wait, what? I, I think idea. that's, I like that I idea. Yeah. Any of it. I've been do. thinking about Joe's sandwich this entire time, dude. <laughs> I can't stop fucking thinking about it. I said a McRib. I so it's like a hero, but it's all ribs with mashed potatoes on top. And then I did say asparagus. We'll work on that. What what greens am I thinking of? What greens go like, with barbecue? Collard like barbecue greens. Ribs. Collard. Oh, greens. Uh, yeah. uh, broccoli rob. Right. Maybe, but even that on barbecue might not be great. That's no. on cutlet. Like collard steak, greens might actually right? add a nice bitterness. That would be it. pretty good. I mean, uh, they have they have those collard greens at a at Dino oh, at Dinosaur Barbecue. Yeah, They're really. And good. also, yeah. uh, uh, Brussels sprouts, like grilled Brussels sprouts on a sandwich. Yeah. Stop pretending you eat vegetables. <laughs> Just and, name um, other candy. Well, maybe diet. Just, diet. And uh, maybe a thin mint. Yeah, and yeah. you know what I like? Just uh, you know, a salad. Maybe. No, I, I would like a sandwich with... wrapped in nerd rope. I think that that sounds good. I think you should put. The ma- I like the mashed potatoes and the ribs. I think you should put like a like broccoli. I think you said broccoli. Rob. Broccoli, rob something needs but to- like a bitter would be good against yeah. the sweetness yeah. of the ribs. You yeah, know? and the broccoli rob would be great on the sandwich. I also think there everything should be some sort of like- crunchy component because everything's very soft. That's why right I said now. the Brussels sprouts, the grilled that's, Brussels those sprouts. Those, those, are those are more like be crunchy. Those are more like no, chewy okay. Cheetos. They're dense. <laughs> Cheetos. Throw, throw Cheetos on. I like it. Yeah, that's not bad. Good cheese. Okay. Uh, Cannon? I'm, so I'm stealing from two things. I'm stealing both a garbage plate and also the sandwiches that they made at Penn State, which have like all these like different chicken fingers, French fries, cheese, like what, like almost like an appetizer sandwich style thing. So that I would take the spicy chicken cutlet from a spicy chicken combo from Wendy's. I would uh, cut that up, put it in burger meat, put it in. Um, maybe even some like, no, not home fries. That would have been too much, but, uh, taco meat, put it in. Um, and then, uh, maybe some, definitely some French fries, maybe an onion ring and just wrap it tight into a hero. Are you actually drooling right now? <laughs> Pretending to drool for the camera. <laughs> Nicole, did you see that? None of it. Oh! <laughs> really? Yes. So I was just drooling yeah, to myself. Harder. Yeah. Oh, it's still funny. Yeah. 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 Zoom in. Do we have time for one more? Yeah, was it been do three one. hours? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't start the clock. But um, if you last one, Carrie Betts, you can only eat one snack for the rest of your life, and it uh, has to be a nostalgic snack from your childhood. Easy. What you snacking on? Me too. Easy. Huh? Well, if it has to be nostalgic from my childhood, it's 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 hers sour cream and onion potato chips. Yeah. So if I can if I can edge it a little bit further forward, it would be hers. Salt and vinegar potato mm-hmm. chips, ah. but like those are my two. Those to me are the two greatest. That that brand and those two flavors are the two greatest potato chips of all time. Mm. Um, I love a Lay's a, sour cream and yeah. onion on a tuna fish tuna salad sandwich. Provides a great crunch and it's very delicious. Sour cream and onion chips and salt and vinegar chips next to any sandwich are pretty. I don't know why fantastic. I yeah. hate salt and vinegar so much. I hate them as chips so much, but you don't have your adult taste buds yet. I guess no. <laughs> I like salt. I'm full of piss and vinegar, but yeah. I, I have too much. Balsamic <laughs> feeny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But I, uh, yeah. I mean, that's. I was gonna. I'm trying to think of like. Uh, so childhood, uh, it's like Pop Tarts, Dunkaroos. Oh, awesome. uh, I mean, Dunkaroos, but they brought back Dunkaroos, and they're awful. Did you have that, but yeah. you had those like all the time in your house. More Pop Tarts, Pop Tarts. No, but Pop Tarts, I would have a lot. Like I would, that was, was like my Pop-Tart? breakfast in the morning. S'mores, s'mores, and then when I, and then when I got, to, yeah, my s'mores is favorite good. one. And then I like cinnamon as well. Cinnamon was the best <laughs> one to have cold, like un, untoasted. Yeah. No. I've only ever eaten Pop Tarts untoasted. I actually yeah, really I too. I don't like them toasted. I, but I didn't, never really them. toast them. I didn't the enjoy Pop Tarts until I was in, well into my thirties. Oh, Pop-Tarts as a kid, cool. I thought they. I, I I was not. I didn't <laughs> like sweets as a kid much. Yeah, toaster strudel was a bullshit thing. They yeah. got you just because Fuck they think you could put your own yeah. fucking thing. Toaster on there. Like sucks. Yeah. Oh, what was a hot pockets were very good. Is that really a snack uh, or is that a small meal? That's kind of a small meal. Yeah. They also were like the reason for seven degree burns in yeah. my mouth. Totino's yeah. pizza roll yeah. were like that. But Totino's pizza rolls when you're shit faced is maybe the best. best. Talk about like it's like the shots for a party mm-hmm. where you're like Totino's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked baked. 
Lay's. I thought that as far as chips those go, were I like recent, baked though. Lay's, barbecue baked as Lay's. As a kid? No, yeah. those came out in like they were really those good. Came out in like 2006. They were really good. The, no, they're the not bad. Disgust. But disgust. But my, that's what he the, said. My parents rest of got. your life, for one snack from childhood for the rest of your life. You got to think of all. I like baked Lay's. Situation. I do. I you know what I like for the I rest like of my life? Communion wafers. <laughs> yeah, snack wells. I also liked. I'm a pretzel uh, rod guy personally. I could really? eat. Yeah, dude. I love pretzel. Oh, rod. pretzels. What, are, what about I those? had a those real soft. For me. No pretzels. Shit. Pretzels are, an, are are a food that I am absolutely obsessed and love, and never ever buy for myself. And if whenever they are somewhere and I have access to them, I'm having. I love. The gold roll, what is it? Rolled gold, gold rolled, rolled gold, rolled gold. 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 A too uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes yeah. I don't like the buttery ones. Dude, the, uh, the dark, the dark cooked pretzel knots or sourdough. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those ones are fucking so goddamn good. I like good. the sticks. The uh, yeah, the, the rods. The, the uh, the, God damn it, Andy Kidler, you said this joke. Do you remember? Do you guys remember when before like, I don't know before. I guess it was pre smartphones. It was definitely pre. No, no, it was post smartphones. But it was when you still had to like call information to get four one one four one one, and yeah. it would be the automated thing. Mm. And he had this bit about how it, it never gets it right, and he's like, "Yeah, I'd like the uh, uh, because I need the number for Macy's and Burbank." And he and the automated thing is like, "Okay, so you're looking for the pretzel family <laughs> in Glendale." <laughs> And he's like, no, no, Macy's in Burbank. And he goes, that switches to the operator. And she's like, sir, we there is no pretzel family. I do have a Mr. and Mrs. Rolled Gold. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, baby. That was excellent. That's yeah. the show, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joe DeRosa, for Thank coming you. on. Thanks Check for out having... everything, Joe. Check out his monthly here in New York if you are here. Check him out on the road. Listen to Taste Buds. That was the worst dismount oh, of headphones I mean, I've ever seen. That, was, like, a, ah! that was a monkey <laughs> seeing headphones for the first time. That was nuts. That's wild because I didn't want to wear them that that happened. <laughs> That's Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.